I didn't want to do a fucking video on this. I didn't want to do a video on this at all. I wanted to make a video on all sorts of things this week. I had all kinds of brilliant, wonderful, insightful, truly, truly groundbreaking YouTube content. But no, I have to talk about the Amy Schumer special. So I'm throwing all that good content in the, in the dumpster. You're never going to see those masterpiece videos. That's right. Anyway, <laughs> this is uh, Pat Ryarchy, also known as the Patriarchy. So Amy Schumer special, I didn't want to watch. But I had to watch it to make this video, so I'm pretty fucking pissed. So I'm going to be a little bit more angry in this than normal, because I'm very angry I sat through that hour. Um, now, let me say, this isn't going to be a review of her special. The special sucks, and that's my subjective opinion, and comedy is subjective. So me reviewing it is arbitrary and really not going to get to, to my issues here. The reason I made this video was because... This, this special's been getting pretty shit reviews from, from people who have watched it. Um, it's got one star on Netflix. It has like a 3.5 on IMDb. Uh, the user rating on Metacritic's like a 1.5. So with all this criticism and fairly mixed reviews from a lot of media outlets, Amy Schumer comes out and claims it's the alt-right uh, and alt-right trolls from like 4chan and Reddit that got together and uh, made their reviews bad because she can't accept that her special might have actually been bad at all because this is that typical social justice bullshit crap oh let me go into victim mode I'm a victim now for bad reviews you are one of the the weakest uh, comedians out there you you have no new material you're basically just a rip off of like an Andrew Dice Clay type from the 80s you're like an 80s shock jock comedian and uh, your stuff's not relatable. It's not funny. I don't know why people like that movie, Trainwreck, but it was a hit. I mean, your stuff makes money. But so now when this gets negative reviews and people aren't liking it, what does Amy do? Oh, she goes to the alt-right conspiracy theory. And, and the proof for it is insanely lacking. Yeah, this is from People Magazine, right? Okay, so here... In a lengthy Instagram post on Wednesday, the 35-year-old comedian opened up about the alt-right organized trolls who, trolls who she claims have been coordinating online attacks against her over the years. Her words came in response to um, a Splitsider article that reported how alt-right Redditors flooded the member reviews of the comic's new hour-long stand-up show on Netflix, The Leather Special, with hundreds of negative reviews and low star ratings. Most laced with misogyny, alt-right is defined as an offshoot of conservatism mixed with racism, white nationalism, and populism. Similar efforts against Schumer were organized on Reddit in 2006. Splitsider reported during the release of the star's first book, The Girl with the Lower Back Tattoo. But according to Schumer, these arranged attacks strike, strikes aren't anything new. Despite her success on stage, she calls herself the first female comic to sell at arenas all over the world, and on screen, see her 2015 Golden Globe-nominated film Trainwreck and her Emmy-winning Comedy Central variety series Inside Amy Schumer, the star still gets trolled. Okay, so here's Amy uh, Schumer's Instagram post where she talks about the special and what happened. Okay. Amy Schumer, I am so proud of my special and grateful to all the people spreading love online about it. I am the first female comic who is selling out arenas all over the world and so grateful for that. I am embarrassed for the journalists who report on trolls, activists, as if it's news. It's indicative of an administration right now. Oh, of course, she has to throw a Trump thing in there. Anyone who reported that viewers aren't happy with my special, it would have been cool if you did a moment of research before posting. The alt-right organized trolls attack everything I do. Read the Split Cider article. They organize to get my ratings down, meeting in subreddit rooms. They try to my book and movies and TV shows, and I want to thank them. It makes me feel so powerful and dangerous and brave. It reminds me what I'm saying is effective and bring more interest to my work, and their obsession with me keeps going. Jesus, this is like when she did the attack on the Barbie thing when everyone made fun of her for being cast as Barbie and I did that video and she attacked all the trolls like, yeah, I'm great. Uh, yeah, I love when they troll me. Uh, it just makes me feel stronger when it's so clearly obvious that she's fucking butthurt as shit by the negativity. Like, it's clearly driving her nuts. It's, it's, it's like clear. This is the same woman that overreacted to a guy making a joke on Twitter with a photo of her and she's trying to make me believe she's not sensitive about this stuff. Yeah, nice try, Amy. For fuck's sakes. 
I am only ashamed by the people printing their organized trolling as news. This is what the current administration wants. Yeah, the administration wants people to write articles about your special tanking and being really unfunny. Really, Amy? Y you think Trump gives a fuck about you in this particular moment, this comedy special? You guys are all obsessed with him and obsessed with the alt-right and obsessed with conservatives and, and gun laws and politics, so aren't you open to the criticism when you talk out your ass and when you make really bad comedy specials? I mean, sure, that's my opinion, but... This thing's not been getting rave reviews anywhere. Your fans aren't even liking it for the most part. I mean, a lot of people think it went too far. There's a Steven Crowder video where he sets and watches the whole thing and goes through it for, like, like breaks it down every time she makes, like, a vagina or, like, just some gross sex joke. It's, like, every fucking 30 seconds. And I watched the special, and I was thinking there the whole time, like, God, if I had to do that, that would be awful. Because when you're sitting there watching it, like, these bits don't go anywhere, you know? They don't really go anywhere, and, and she just kind of... It's tedious. She just keeps going back to the same kind of joke, really. It's it's the same. It's a, She's basically making the same joke over and over and over again and just trying to rephrase the joke into different ways. And then she goes in these weird things about politics and, and stuff like that without making it personal feeling. It's just like, if you agree with me, you're going to like this. If you don't agree with me, you're not going to like this. And she doesn't try to make it relatable in a comedic way. It was a very strange special. It really was just like, it's that Ashley Judd thing or that like these these feminists they want to come out and like virtue signal and give speeches now instead of doing their fucking jobs like amy schumer didn't come out and try to be funny she came out and tried to make a point she also looked fucking disgusting in that leather outfit oh my god she's looking worse than she has in a long time i don't know what's going on are you eating more because you're so angry about alt right anyway so this post has nothing against the trolls I think you troll so much. Yeah, I'm sure you're so happy with them. You love them, right? It fills me with hope and power to see you are all furiously posting. So as always, accuse me of whatever lies you want. Call me a whale. I mean, that's not a lie. I've seen photos of you. Call me a thief, and I will continue to rise and fight and leave. There's also proof that you have stolen jokes. Um, I know who I am. I, I wish you knew who you were a little bit better. I am strong and beautiful. See, she always says that stuff. I am strong and beautiful and will use my voice my whole time on this earth. Like, okay, why do you have to reinforce yourself? You're strong. Could you imagine if a male comedian came out and was like, I am beautiful and strong and handsome and you will not criticize me. I am a tough, strong man in this world. How dare you? It's embarrassing. Journalists do better. It's embarrassing. Troll see you on the next one. Amy, you embarrassed us. Some of the replies to her Instagram. Or you're just bad. Amy, you know, what will you learn? You are not funny. Well, for one, you aren't beautiful or brave or strong. Just a confused liberal. It's not the trolls. You're just not funny. Keep up the terrible comedy and pretty soon you'll be taking Colbert's job. People just don't think you're funny. Organized alt-right trolls. Are you out of your mind? You think people will organize to waste time for you? Did you ever think maybe it's because you actually aren't funny? Sorry, Amy, <laughs> but talking about your genitalia for an hour simply isn't that funny. Yeah, does she not realize South Park mocked her humor, basically? In this last season, that I'm not even a huge fan of, but they, they mocked that, like, Cartman coming up and being like, My vagina! I love it when girls make jokes about their vaginas and women are funny, like, and the whole bit was pretty much attacking Amy Schumer. Okay, so let's get this evidence of the, the alt-right attacking her special and rating it so badly. I'm going to the uh, Splitsider.com article to read what evidence they have, right? So they say that Amy Schumer's leather special debuted on the streaming network last week, and if you were to believe a lot of the news headlines today, Schumer fans really, really hate it. Outlets like The Decider, Yahoo, and The Rap are reporting the Netflix viewers have been slamming the leather special with hundreds of negative reviews. Here's an expert from The Decider's report, and they talk about how, yeah, it has bad reviews. Putting aside the argument over whether Schumer's special is good or bad, no, we can't talk about the quality of it. Let's just ignore that because we have a conspiracy theory to jump to. It's this bit in the info from the Raps report that should make anyone's suspicion kick in before assuming these are fans or true critics of Schumer who are slamming her. So just because they hate her, their opinion's invalid because they think she's unfunny and terrible. And really, that Instagram post didn't win me over. 
The comedian's hour-long special, Tidy Amish Schumer, The Leather Special, has received more than 900 ratings since its premiere a week ago. That's more than double the number of views for Trevor Noah's special, Afraid of the Dark. A quick Reddit search, particularly in the alt-right The Donald subreddit, tells a very different story from the above articles. With posts like this one and this one, encouraging people to give Schumer's 2016 book a bad review on Amazon, plus all these calls to, plus all these calls to give her special one-star review. And there's all these Reddit posts like, Amy Schumer, The Leather Special's on Netflix, you know what to do. Amy Schumer star uh, one star Schumer has Netflix special you know what to do Amy Schumer has a new special on Netflix and it has 1.5 1.5 stars can we get it down to one so yeah there was threads like that but once again to say that everyone wouldn't there be if there was enough five star ratings wouldn't it balance out to a two or three kinda I mean you gotta understand like these negative reviews like the clips from the special are bad and I'm gonna get to that too I'm gonna read some jokes from the special just to show you this is the level that the that Amy Schumer thinks deserves more than a one star. There was even a, uh, a concerted push over uh, at Opie and Anthony for people to leave negative replies to Jim Norton's tweet about the special, and unsurprisingly, ton of redditors obligated. Yeah, Opie and Anthony, that fan base is uh, likes real comedy. They're Patrice O'Neill fans. They fucking hate Amy Schumer. Let this be a three pronged lesson. Amy Schumer has to deal with a ridiculous amount of sexist bullshit on an everyday basis. So her being unfunny and people hating her is a sexist issue because she's a woman, not because she's unfunny. All right. Reviews for Netflix stand-up specials aren't really useful unless they're used to attack or boycott someone. And going forward, when a stand-up special suddenly gets tanked by hundreds of negative online reviews from supposed fans, their, legitimately, their legitimacy is probably worth double-checking over on Reddit. So you just went and found Reddit things to reinforce your point of view instead of going through and looking at every single review and making sure it was somebody from Reddit or not or a sexist comment. Because I went and looked at a bunch of these reviews and a lot of them aren't that way. It's just like, this isn't funny. I love this. These people don't have a lot of free time on their hands, so they attack people like Amy Schumer. Oh my god. So this this is this is the article. Now, does this sound like a legitimate news source that's skeptical, or does it sound like somebody who's leftist and likes Amy Schumer and is trying to defend her and find ways to defend her? It sounds that way to me. I'm going to be skeptical on this. And she's using this article as her proof that all the reviews are from the alt-right. She can't at all say that, well, maybe some things were bad. Now let's, now let's look at an article from uh, Entertainment Weekly where they praise her special, right? And uh, they, they praise it and they say it's terrific, uh, like this opening paragraph. A lot has happened to Amy Schumer since her last special, 2015 Chris Rock directed Live at the Apollo. She nabbed two Emmy nominations for that hour, along with nods for a Comedy Central show inside Amy Schumer and her hosting stint on SNL. Her first film, Trainwreck, was a massive success and earned her a Golden Globe nomination. So how did the trolls not affect the reviews for Trainwreck? Trainwreck got good reviews and stuff. Where were all the alt-right trolls then, Amy? I, I'm trying to figure it out. Why does this? Why does this specifically have all these bad reviews across the board? Anyway, um, she also Entertainment Weekly posted about the trolling thing and said it was from the alt right. But let's let's read some of her material, and, and they talk about this stuff being really really funny. This past year, I've gotten very rich, famous, and humble. She opens the leather special. That's true, but she's also still very funny. Proven hair, where she covers topics ranging from oral sex to Bradley Cooper and getting diarrhea. She also touches on some heavier material, too. What, herself? Like when she acknowledges the two young women, uh, Macy Bricks and Jillian Johnson, who were killed by a gunman during a showing of Trainwreck, and explains how their deaths inspired her fight for stricter gun laws. Well, wow, she's using these deaths to virtue signal about gun laws in her comedy special. What a good person, Amy. If you're on the terrorist watch list, not just the no-fly list, but the terrorist watch list, you can easily get a gun, she says. That same guy is like, get out of our country, foreigner, but while you're here, please enjoy our firearms legally. Yet you defend the immigration, you don't have an issue with the guy being an immigrant, like, you don't, you don't agree with that argument if an immigrant commits a crime? Well, that seems a little weird. When you want, when you want immigrants to not be here if they're going to kill people, Amy? Though her strongest jokes come when she's musing on lighter subjects, like what tabloids write about her, or dedication to getting some gun reform mentions in her stand-up is commendable especially given how obviously upsetting and close to her heart the issue is as she as she herself says what is crazy is you can catch a hot load all over your titties and still not want your loved ones to get shot in a theater 
Five star material, folks. <laughs> okay. Let, let's just read some of here's 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 Entertainment Weekly's compilation of the best bits from Amy Schumer special. Here's, let's go through some some bits here. Number one on going viral. I tweeted out a photo of myself wearing just underwear, nothing but underwear. I'm holding coffee. I'm topless. It goes viral. And that's when I learned the world you the word you don't want people to use when a nude photo of you goes viral. Brave. On her vagina's natural scent. On its best day, my pussy smells like a small barnyard animal. Not like a big fucked up llama chewing and spitting. A little like a goat. That's on its best day. On its worst day, after a blackout, ISIS. It's fucked up, guys. It's bad. Five-star comedy here, people. On men's confidence in the bedroom, I wish we ra were raised more like men. Here's an example of how we were different. How we're different. We're so worried about our pussies, right? Have you ever had a guy come in your mouth and go, "Does it taste okay?" I have been drinking a lot of water and I'm worried. No, that would never happen because men, you aren't raised to hate yourself. They're just like everything you do is a miracle, and you're like, yeah, everything I do is a miracle. Wait, so men aren't insecure about their penises at all? Are you joking? That's probably why men do everything they do is because they have some kind of feeling about their penis and sexuality. That's an absurd claim. That's not even funny. That's not a relatable. Like, what's the joke there? I don't get that. Like, when I when I heard that joke too, when I was watching it, I was kind of like, what's the joke? I wish we were raised more like men, and then her bit about it doesn't make... Have you ever asked a guy come in your mouth and go, does it taste good? Yeah, I've asked chicks that before. I've asked him if, if the semen tasted bad. Uh, uh, is she kidding? Yeah, that's happened to me. That's four. That's sometimes misguided. My boyfriend usually comes inside me. Jesus Christ. <laughs> but sometimes you want to mix it up. We'll be having sex, and then he'll ask my favorite question. Where should I come? I also love the question because of the confidence of it. Where should I come? I don't know about you guys, but I've never dated someone with American sniper-like accuracy where I could be like, here, hit the moving target. I'm like, okay, Katniss. Let me be a guy and tell this joke the other way. My girlfriend, uh, I usually come inside her. But, you know, sometimes you want to mix it up. We'll be having sex, and then I'll ask her favorite question, where should I come? I love that question because it gives me this fake confidence, like, where should I come? I don't know about you guys out there, but I don't have that, like, American sniper-like accuracy where I could be like, all right, bitch, move. I'm, I'm going to hit the target. All right, like, I'm, I'm legless over here. You know, it, it's not that funny. I just reversed it the other way, and it's not that funny. But when Amy Schumer does it and people criticize it, it's sexism. On fitness, they photographed me once, and this was, this was the headline. Schumer buys pastry so she can work out. Kind of mean, right? No, they hit the nail right on the fucking head. That's what I do to work out. Before I work out, I go and I buy a scone, and I slowly walk around a reservoir, and I eat it. My workouts are like a woman in hospice, just like nibbling on a baked good, looking at the trees and the birds. Well, I believe this bit because she looks absolutely fucking terrible. She's starting to look more and more like one of the garbage pail kids. On Bradley Cooper, honestly, the only thing that gets me through the night is that I believe in my heart that Bradley Cooper wants to fuck me. Now, no one else believes me, especially not him, but I believe it. All right, let's reverse this joke again. Honestly, the only thing that gets me through the night is that I believe in my heart that Scarlett Johansson wants to fuck me. Now, no one else believes me, especially not Scarlett, but I believe it. See, not that funny. This is, this is the gold material from Amy Schumer special. Need I say more? It fucking sucks. You know why it has one star? Because you are a one-star comedian. You are terrible. What was ever funny about you or what talent you had or cuteness or interesting aspect to you that probably did exist 15 years ago. So I remember watching you years and years ago and thinking you were all right. Has dwindled away as you have just dedicated yourself completely to the ocean of social justice. You are drowning in it, Amy, trying to swim to the top. And you think of yourself as this beautiful mermaid like Lena Dunham. But no, you are just the whale and you must stay under and come up occasionally to, to blow your hole because all you do is blow things. You just love blowing things, especially blowing this special. You had a chance here to come back and do something really funny and on point 
and 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 you could have criticized the administration. You could have been political. Dave Chappelle has specials coming out on Netflix um, very soon, and the reviews are raves. I guarantee you, you're not going to be seeing the same reactions because Dave Chappelle's actually fucking funny and has integrity. You have none, Amy. Every time you get criticized, you go into victim mode. You did it with Barbie. You did it with your book. Now you're doing it with this, and the special is shit. This is shit jokes. This is the worst thing you've ever done by far. This is less funny than your other stuff, which I'm not a fan of. This is even lower for your typical standard. And you should know that. But you're not going to do that. You're not going to say, eh, maybe I fucked this one up. You're not going to apologize. You're not going to read the negative reviews. You're just going to go, well, I found this article that uh, took some Reddit pieces. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, according to these five Reddit uh, threads, everyone who says this thing's bad is an alt-right. They're a Nazi. Okay, and they didn't watch the special. I think it's bad. I watched it, bitch. And I'm the fucking patriarchy. Like, comment, and subscribe. Give me your opinions on the special. I'm really interested in what you guys have to say. If you liked it, please let me know why. I'm very interested. And then go swallow a fucking knife. I'm just kidding. This is satire. Just being a comedian over here. What the fuck has happened to comedy? Like, why do these shitty female comedians get a fucking pass? And why do these liberal comedians get a pass for being shit? Does the left just not care anymore? Do they just, did they just give up the standards of comedy? What, what the fuck legitimately happened? Comedy is dying in a populist sense because these people, she's worse than Dane Cook. I don't have an easy time saying that. Holy fuck. Anyway, until next time, Amy Schumer... I'd say go fuck yourself, but that's really not worthy of, of your of your one star greatness. How about you you go take a a, a fucking broom handle, uh, uh, put it in between two chairs, put your feet on those chairs, and just slam it down right up the middle of your fucking pussy and have it come out of your mouth like some Jacob's ladder shit. You unfunny cunt.